Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Joel from Terry Chiu Academy. Right now, we are going to solve this question together. For this lesson, we will be tackling a chicken and rabbit kind of question using assumption method. Okay, so let's get to the question. So the question mentioned that there, are there were 20 questions in a maths competition. Seven marks were awarded for a correct answer. Four marks were deducted for a wrong answer. And a student would get zero marks for any questions not attempted. Okay, so you will realize that there is actually three possible ways. Okay, it's either a correct answer, a wrong answer, or a unattempted question. Okay, so in this particular question, we actually need to do an assumption. Okay, so what are we going to assume? We are going to assume that all the questions are correct. Okay, so assume all the questions are correct. Okay, so if we assume all the questions are correct, okay, what is the total marks that we will be able to achieve? Okay, seven marks will be awarded. Okay, so we simply need to take 20 times 7 to get a total marks of 140. Okay, so I'm just going to write that down. 140 total marks okay however okay we know that jake scored only 100 marks okay so he actually lost some marks how much marks did he actually lose okay we simply need to take 140 minus 100 to find out how many marks did jake actually lost okay so jake actually lost a total of 40 marks okay so i'm just gonna write 40 marks lost okay so now let's think about it this way okay so we already assume that all the questions are correct okay now what happens if i were to change one correct to one wrong okay so let's find out how many marks do we actually lose okay are you do you think that we will actually only lose 4 marks? Okay, actually, when you were to change one correct question to a wrong answer, sorry, one correct answer to a wrong answer, okay, not only do you not get the 7 marks awarded, okay, you also get a total of 4 marks being deducted, okay. So, in, this is not just having 4 marks deducted, you actually lose a total of 11 marks deducted okay when you were to change one correct answer to one wrong answer okay so you'll notice that over here he lost 40 marks okay but from one correct to one wrong we actually lose 11 marks okay so there are actually two ways to lose marks one is if i were to change my correct answer to a wrong answer the second way is if I were to change one correct answer to one not attempted. Okay, so what happens when I change one correct to one not attempted? Okay, you will now realize that for questions that are not attempted, you will actually not get any penalized. Okay, you will only just get zero. Meaning to say that instead of getting 7 marks, you only get 0. Okay, so you actually lose a total of 7 marks deducted. Okay, and why is that important? Because we want to find ultimately we lose a total of 40 marks, but these 40 marks must be a combination of these 11 marks lost as well as this. 7 marks lost from 1 correct to 1 not attempted okay and with this there is only one possible way okay which is 40 is actually equals to 11 times 3 plus 7 okay and in this case we will notice that over here it is actually 3 wrong 
And over here, we will notice that over here, this actually one not attempted. Okay, so only this particular combination, we will be able to get a total of 40 marks being deducted. Okay, which is what we are looking for. Okay, so if we go back to the question, they are asking you, how many questions did he not attempt? He only did not attempt one question. Okay, and that is your answer. We have now completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.